Hi there my crafty friends, it's Ashley Pfeiffer, the maker behind Stamped AF. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you are new here, please consider hitting that big subscribe button below. You're not going to want to miss anything I have coming out. This week, my product of the week is the Tiny Keepsakes Bundle. So, it is on page 19 of the holiday catalog. And if you live in Canada and do not have a demonstrator and you need a catalog, please just uh, head on over to stampedaf.ca and fill out the form and I will get one to you in the mail ASAP. Uh, so on page 19 is this adorable bundle and if you've been around Stampin' Up! for any time, you're probably fully aware of the full-size curvy keepsake box. So this is a mini one. It fits in your hand and it's just so cute. And this is what we're going to make with it today. So it's hey there pumpkin and obviously a pumpkin and just wait till you see the treats that are inside. So with my product of the week, I always introduce it on Monday with a video. I do a Facebook Live on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time and it will use that same bundle. And then where it fits, I do a creating for Christmas video on the Friday. Now, either way, I do that video on the Friday. It just depends. Uh, last week was come to gather sweet and there was just no making a Christmas video out of that. So I switched gears and I used the Still Scenes bundle with Rustic Retreat. Isn't that cute? So um, also I did the inside because I made a vow to myself that I wasn't going to have any more naked cards on the inside and then stamped on the back and then it's ready to go to the recipient. So you can see I use the puff paint, there's some of the snowflake sequins and the Stampin' Ice Glitter. It's just adorable. Okay, so on page 21, you will get a closer look at this tiny keepsakes box. There's also a super cute one. Uh, well, there's super cute ones. Um, where's the one I'm thinking of? It's in here somewhere. I was probably just looking at it, yep. I wanted to make this, but I ran out of noses. So I had a craft sale last week and we had a make and take at the table and the kids were making the bookmarks actually that are on the front of the catalog and I ran out of noses. So I couldn't make that one. But if you're getting this bundle, you're gonna wanna get the snowman embellishment kit. Uh, I've got mine right here, but again, it's sans noses. I actually have a couple of extra pieces in here too. This is a great way to keep um, some of those items that you, your inspiration pieces. So I know that I want to use the winter knit embossing folder with this. I probably can't see it very well. Uh, so it's kind of inspiration, but I've, there's stick arms and coal eyes and buttons and there's mittens and toques and scarves and then there's a little bit of washi tape. So this is adorable. So if you purchase this bundle with me this week, you will get your choice of one of two things. So you can get the snowman embellishment kit for free, or you can choose a roll of any ribbon, any ribbon, whether it be from the holiday catalog or the annual catalog. So, I mean, there's this super adorable ribbon right here. I'm just gonna show you a couple really quick. So this is the one that's in the catalog. I'm just gonna turn on another light here. So this is the curly ribbon. And I was watching a video yesterday where they suggested that you just do a tiny little knot in the end, otherwise it'll keep fraying on you. And you don't want that. So when you use it to keep your roll intact, don't do it the way I just did it, but put a knot in there. And also when you're using it, put a knot and then just trim right at the end. Uh, there's this gorgeous cherry cobbler one, which is predominantly cherry cobbler on one side and more white on the other. Uh, I'll show you two more from the holiday catalog and then I'm just going to leave it up to you. You can choose to get the snowman embellishment kit, whoops, wrong one, or any package of ribbon. So like with the come together ribbon, this is one order number. So any ribbon that you can order with just one number, you will get for free when you purchase this bundle with me this week. And this week is, <laughs> today is, I'm recording this a day early. So between September 16th 
and Sunday, September 22nd. So order it any time in this week with me and you will have your choice of either the snowman embellishment kit or any roll of ribbon. Okay, with that being said, that's enough of our housekeeping items. Let's get our craft on, shall we? Okay, so I am using Grapefruit Grove. This is, it measures five and a half by, I believe it's five inches. Uh, five and a half by five and a half. So you can get two of these out of one sheet of A2 size cardstock. Now I'm using Grapefruit Grove. You can use any color you desire. I'm just gonna run this through the big shot super quick. You want to make sure it's on all four sides of your cardstock so you're not cutting out a piece. There we go. Even that's cute, isn't it? Okay, so we're done with that die. The beauty of the tiny keepsakes one is it works on a five and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock. With the full size curvy keepsake, it was, um, you'd have to use a six by six just to get like half and then you would glue it together. So this one, there's no adhesive required. All you have to do is fold it up. Now, before we do that though, I am going to use the subtle embossing folder. Now, before I go too far, I need to give credit to Rachel Tessman from Stamp Your Art Out because it was her Facebook Live from last week that totally inspired this. So I need to give a shout out to her and give credit where credit is due. She also has um, a few other cute keepsake boxes in that video. So I can link to it below. The beauty is this is a six by six folder, so you're doing all of it at once. You can emboss with a four by six, but you'd have to do it in two parts. So now we can fold our score lines. I'm not gonna burnish it because I don't want to wear off the embossing that I just did. Now these two fold back. And then you just want to take your bone folder and break up those fibers just a little bit, not too hard. You want to hold on to the base because it is it can be easy to tear it. Okay, so that part is ready to go. Now we have another step before I kind of assemble it. We're going to take the coordinating ink pad, so in this case, Grapefruit Grove, but if you're using a different color, then use that. And I'm just using a sponge, folding that side back. And this was another thing that Rachel did. It just adds a level of dimension that you don't get otherwise. Now, this step is optional, but I will show you with versus without so you can see it for yourself. Okay, so we've inked up that side. Look at that side. Doesn't it just pop? And you can have it as light or dark as you want. I like to fold the sides in so that I don't get additional ink on there that I wasn't planning on. You can leave the inside, you can stamp something on there. It's totally up to you. I'm done with that part. So we can set that aside. Now we are going to, now I should mention that two of the things I'm using from this set are the Harvest Hello. So I'm using the leaf and we will be using Hey There Pumpkin. And you could use that little tendril, but I'm not using that because it is pretty tricky to cut out. So this is some Mossy Meadow cardstock. I'm just gonna do some tone on tone here. Just 
stamp those and set them aside. Okay, and then on our piece of soft suede, this is just a scrap, we are going to do two things. One, we are going to die cut. This is from the Ornate Frames dies, so this is in the holiday catalog. It's part of the Monster Bash bundle. I, however, didn't want the Halloween stuff, so I just ordered the dies because, I mean, they are going to be good for anything, any time of year, any occasion. So I'm using my Copper Delicata ink, and I always like to stamp it twice might be a little too close. Nope, should be okay. Uh, sometimes I get, well, that should be good. Sometimes I get um, a letter or something that doesn't quite stamp. So instead of just doing it once and putting everything away, which I always do, uh, if I mess it up, I have to take everything back out. So I'm trying to get in the habit of stamping things more than once because sometimes I'm a little too efficient. Okay, now that is a pigment ink, so we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes so that it can set. Because if we die cut it right now, it is going to smear everywhere. And we don't want that. But what I am going to do is, with my paper trimmer, we're gonna try and keep that from smudging. I'm just, I had a scrap for exactly this reason yesterday and I must have thrown it out in my haste. But what we're going to do is lift that up and then not move it around so that we smudge. But we are going to have a very tapered piece of cardstock here. So you can see it is not lined up on the bottom here. It is wider. It's wider at the bottom and tapers down. We'll lift that up again so that that doesn't smudge. If you want this, if you want to be able to work with this piece right away, you can heat set it or you could emboss it, but then you're covering up the copper. So I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. Uh, so you can do this part just dry, but I like to give it a little spritz with just some water. I'm going to do that off screen because I don't want to wet my whole work surface. Just give it a couple of spritzes. You don't want to saturate it. And what I like to use is a tapered paintbrush. And then we're just gonna wrap it around. Now you could wrap it around, whoops, a pencil or anything, but I want this to be tapered. So this paintbrush handle is perfect for that. Now I'm not sure if the tendril would be in brown or if it would be green but I wanted it in brown so there is our pretty little tendril cute right so now we can cut out our leaves just a little bit of fussy cutting here okay Almost, well, we are ready to assemble. Love that we have so many stamped dies now, or stitched dies, stamped dies. What does that even mean? Now with this one, I, we, we Stampin' Up! used to have a little circle punch, but we don't anymore. So what I did was I just took my Stampin' Pierce mat and my Take Your Pick tool and just poked a hole through there and then did it so that it went the full width. Now it doesn't give you the prettiest side there, but it's we're mounting it on there anyways. So uh, we're going to use the piece of copper trim it's one of my favorites. I've actually used it at almost every sample I've made this weekend has had the copper trim. I'm doing a 
class at a nursing home this afternoon and they're using copper trim as well. It's just such a beautiful accent, especially this time of year where everything is uh, beautiful fall neutral warm colors. I'm just tying a little knot in there. And then, pardon my reach, I'm just gonna curve that just a little bit. And then, I'm gonna pull this apart. Isn't that adorable? I just love it. Okay, so let's put this together, shall we? So all we're gonna do, we've folded and everything's ready to go. We're gonna put our treat in here. So I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday for just some, some stuff. I've got my paper share ready and I needed some bags to put them in. Speaking of which, let me show you super quick. So this is one of my paper shares and it's unfortunate. I made all my labels and then realized I had stamped AF on there and it barely printed. Um, but if you choose to participate in my paper share, unfortunately I ordered these pretty bags and they didn't fit the paper. The paper didn't fit in there so we're back to Ziploc bags. But you get a quarter pack of all of the Holiday Catalog DSP for $45. I should have checked that before I quoted it, right? Um, I will put the link below to join my paper share. Uh, I have another one that could go in at any time. So if you would like to get a quarter pack of each of the DSPs, then just send me a message. And as a bonus, the first four people that message me to say that they want in on this paper share will get two six by six sheets of the mercury acetate designer paper and let me tell you it is gorgeous so you will get two six by six sheets of that for free as my gift to you now back to this. So I went to Dollar Tree and last year I got these amazing chocolate cups that were minty and they were so minty. Even my daughter said, mom, this is like brushing your teeth. Like they're so minty. So I thought, mm, they made pumpkin spice. And I had to try one this morning. They are delicious. So what I did in this one is I put two of them and it kind of pops the box up, but I think gonna make these for some people in my life and I mean it's Dollar Tree it's a dollar 25 I could definitely go and get more but let's see so that's one and it moves around let's do two because also then you can see how I put it in they are so good like it shows the pumpkin and the cinnamon and caramel so all I did was I stacked two of them together and you could put a glue dot to keep them together. But once this is closed, it's not going anywhere. Okay, so there's that little lip that keeps the side tabs from popping off. So it just locks in there. Like even that on its own is cute. I'm definitely getting more of these. Pumpkin spice in a chocolatey cup. Yum. Is all I have to say about that. Yum. Whoopsie. So I want just one dimensional on the back of here, the booba back. <laughs> and then, now you have to be careful because in order to get the treat out, you need to be able to pop this off. So you want to have it, we're gonna put it so that the bulk of it is on this side. And you can have it like right on top or you can have it on the side. Now. You're probably thinking, oh, well, you should have glued the other things on first, but no, because this little tendril, we're just gonna put a little bit of glue. You could use tear and tape or whatever you want. I wouldn't recommend snail. And then you're just gonna, oh, I don't want glue on that side. Just the one side. And then, We're just going to glue it on here. 
Now it wasn't necessary for me to take that part off, but I don't want that glue to dry here. So just hold that down for a few seconds. And then all we have to do is kind of turn that back. Manipulate it how you want it. And even without the paintbrush, you can spiral it back in. And then our little leaves. So you can use your bone folder for this. I just kind of curled the top up and the bottom down. Makes it look a little more natural. Put some liquid glue there. Put that on your tag. And once you've got that on there, you may need to play with your leaf to get it back the way you want it. And now with this one, we're going to, again, just put glue on the top. Put that right next to our little tendril. And there we go. You could also stamp a little jack-o'-lantern on there before you do your embossing, but isn't it just adorable? I could not be more pleased with how these turned out. I'm just gonna take my lock off so you can see them up close. So hey there, pumpkin. We've got the leaves, the tendril, that copper trim. Just gorgeous. And then we've got those yummy treats inside that shake around a little bit, but not too much. So that is all for this product of the week video and like I said if you purchase the tiny keepsakes bundle with me this week you have your option of two options so one you can purchase the snowman embellishment kit and mine is um it's missing all my noses and everything but seriously this is so cute I wish that you could just get more refills of this one piece but nope so I'm gonna have mitts and hats and toques coming out the wazoo so you can get that for free or you can get your choice of any ribbon, any ribbon in an order number. So it could be the Magnolia pack. It could be the come together pack, which as you know, is a two piece, it's a two parter. You can get any two ribbon or sorry, any, any one order number of ribbon. So if it's two that comes in the pack, then you can get that. Uh, it can be from the annual catalog. It can be from the holiday catalog. Um, oh, I was going to do a little bit of sponging on here, but I think we've got enough going on, right? So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that. I have videos coming out every week. And all of the products that I have used in this video can be purchased in my online store. So just head over to stampedaf.ca. You will find my current host code. You will find an order link. You can order a catalog if you'd like. Uh, everything you need to know is at stampedaf.ca. So I thank you so much for joining me, friends, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.